Good morning. This is July the 16th and time to start another video. It's about 8.30 in the morning. It's Sunday morning and we're on our way to church. Uh, oh, look at the people here. Looks like we've everybody getting here at once. More people come for church than Sunday school. It's Sunday afternoon and we're getting a good rain shower. We got home from church and had lunch and Larry's gone down the shuffleboard. We're listening to the South Carolina church sermon, too. Oh, it's raining shower with some thunder. This is Monday morning, and we're here at our garden plot. See the squash are growing, and the peppers are growing. And we picked five, five squash this morning. They're nice ones. And uh, Larry's potatoes are coming up there and over there. And we trimmed a lot out of the tomatoes the other day, a lot of the leaves, so they'll get some light in the air. There's some little tomatoes down there. So we'll have some one of these days. A lot of people have nice garden plots up here. There's asparagus. That's a community of asparagus. And there's just as many, and there's peas, corn. There's just as many uh, beds on the other side, out of this row, and then there's a double row. Things grow real good here in the mountains. Look at those sunflowers. I came down to the media center to get two more books. Larry came with me. So, here's what there is to choose from. And there's puzzles and games there, too. I started picking up leaves beside the camper, and I found some Indian pipe stem. Let me show you. They were just growing under the leaves. There's another little group. Got about all the leaves cleaned out from under here. They were kind of thick, but I still haven't found the truck keys. In a little Indian pipe stem. Larry's going to play shuffleboard. Looks like it could rain again today. Bye. Bye. Man came this morning and ground up my stump. I got some ferns I'll have to dig out probably. It's a nice big pile. Only took him about a half hour, Larry said. I was a stretcher size. The neighbors gave us permission to cut this little ugly tree right here. So, now he's getting ready to do it. I'm standing in our driveway and looking at Grandfather's Mountain. I don't think the camera does it justice. That's really pretty sight. We cut a few of these trees down so we could get a better view. Oh. <laughs> I'm just taking laundry out. Just a normal day. Well, we're here at Lowe's and they ordered a new cook stove for a camper. Our old one quit after 43 years and we can't get any replacement parts. But this new one's not going to come till the end of October, so we just have to wait. We could still use the, the, the cooktop burners, we just can't use the oven. We're going for a short hike. Now he's looking for a spot to fish. This is one spot. There's the lake. There's pretty water lilies here in the lake. It's a beautiful day here. About 72 degrees. Nice breeze. People out enjoying the lake. 
I saw some kids over there swimming in front of the beach. We decided to walk down here to see the dam from below. And we were surprised the water's only running over in one spot. Usually it's running over all of those dividers. Must be, must be uh, dry weather. Here's another view. I guess he's waiting for a fish. Well, here's the dam from the other side, from the top. Out there's the earthen part that we walked down. And here's all these points that are full of water. This is the trail that goes up behind where Betty used to have her lot here on the lake. But somebody saw a bear on that trail a couple weeks ago, so I'm not going. This is the, still the Linville River. This is my Magic Chef range. Um, it's 43 years old and has worked fine up until this last week, last Sunday really. Um, the element burnt out in the oven and the front burner on the left is only works off and on. So I tried to find an element to replace the oven and it's so old we can't find it, anything to go with it. So we went to Lowe's and ordered one and it was going to be in on the 24th of October so that was a long time to get but once I got home I looked on the computer again and I found another stove that I like better for the same cost and I can get it next Friday so my hard working stove is going to be replaced I don't know how I feel about the new one so I'll find out after I get it I've just had this one for so long and she's working on the last eye bolt down there so she can go all the way down to the end of her roof, clean the roof off. Pretty high up at the end down there especially. Well, Larry and I were down playing shuffleboard. There was another family here playing earlier. And we have a winner, 141 to 155. It was a pretty good close game most of the way. This is Thursday the 28th and we're here at our garden plot. Potatoes are growing. And you can see the tomatoes a lot bigger. None of them's turning yet, but let's bunch them back in there. We picked the squash. And there's all the squash we got to today. We take them down and donate them. There's a lot more tiny squash, but uh, they'll be too big by the time we get back. We gotta go home again. Our new cook stove is supposed to come between 10 and 2 today. So we pulled it out and cleaned the floor behind it. So it's 10 till 10. I hope they come early instead of 2 o'clock, but we'll see. It's Saturday morning again and uh, it's not raining. So we've been sitting out here by the road for about two hours. Now he sold some of these stuff. So now we're packing up. This is Sunday the 31st, and I forgot to take my camera to church with me this morning. Our church in South Carolina was having a fifth Sunday sing, so I listened to it a while ago. But I thought I'd just throw in a little snippet here of this morning's sermon. You know what we treat God like most of the time? A wishing well. We act like God is there for us, for us to call on every time we have a problem or a need or a situation that needs to be handled, we just cry out to God and expect God to take care of it like that because God is a wishing well to us. 
It's not a fellowship. It's not mutual respect. It's not the same thinking. It's like, oh yeah, I believe that God is Lord of Lords and He is the greatest thing in my life. It's easy to say those words. It's a lot more difficult to live it. Amen. Right? It's a lot more difficult to live and to back up what you say. God, I keep you first. You are my prized possession. I am not calling on you just to solve my problem. Love is being willing to sacrifice for others. That's true love. If you're willing to sacrifice for somebody else, that's true love. Well, we ran out of bread, so I made some in the bread machine, but something went wrong. It didn't rise. So we got a small loaf of bread to last us till I can make some more. But it smelled good when it was baking. Uh, David had to go to a conference for work last week. And he was going by my son Matt's house, and he's never been there before. And so on the second day, on his way home, he stopped, and he texted Matt to see if he was home. And Matt answered and said, yes. And David said, good, I'm in your driveway. Is that it? Things. Yes. yes. <laughs> New cook stove on Friday. It was supposed to come today, and we haven't got it today. So we didn't go back to South Carolina. We decided just we'll wait till we get our stove before we go. But I did get the leaves cleaned up. I've got about 10 bags there. There's still more to do, but that's all the lawn bags I had. And there's our new used washing machine we bought to take to South Carolina. Got it all covered. So we'll take it back when we go. Larry's just back from shuffleboard. Yeah. Had a good day over there. We played three games. I won all three. All ready to go. Yeah. So I won 30 cents. So uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's the most important part. <laughs> How many people showed up? How many courts? Uh, four, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 people showed up today. Oh, that's pretty good. That was pretty good. Everybody had a good time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I always enjoy winning. Did you have to walk any? Yeah, the first game I walked, the second game I walked, and I had to play two different players, and I was by myself. So I walked and won both games, so I won 20 cents in, the first, in that one game. Mm -hmm. Dime off to each person. Yeah, each court takes four players, so you need uh, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, and if you don't have that uh, that set number, then somebody has to walk back and forth. Yeah, if you don't have an even number of four players in each court, then you, somebody has to walk. I volunteer to walk. So you got your exercise. Yep, had a good time. It's four o'clock, and we don't think that anything else is going to happen today, so we'll say. Good night. God bless. Hope everybody stays safe.